hello everyone welcome back to my channel so here is my first project so this project is created in previous session if you want to know how to create this angular project you can just uh, watch my previous video and in this video we'll explore about angular 18 project structure and some of the important folders without further delay let's get started i have imported this project into vs code so here is my project structure so if you observe so here node modules are there so while creating the project we are using ng new project name so from that command it is downloaded required mode models so if you observe by default bootstrap will not come with angular for that one we need to install the bootstrap packages into this angular project so these are all the default packages along with angular project 18 you will get it and if you see another folder is public so here we have the fav icon so this is the icon we are getting from the application so i will run this application from the command prompt you need to use either npm start or ng servo so if you are using npm start also internally it will be called to ng servo only so instead of npm start you can directly use ng servo to start your angular project so now application is started port number 4200 so you can go with localhost 4200 so so if you see here is the icon so this is the icon we are calling as a icon so that icon is coming under public folder now if you see the src folder so in the src folder we are having component by default while creating the project you will get it only one component that is app component so this app component along with four files it will come one is css file and one is html file one is spec.ts and ts file so in the CSS file, we can keep all our CSS related properties and HTML file will write all our HTML code and spec file will use to creating the test cases. And component.ts file is the main one here. We are creating our classes and all the properties related to particular component. And if you want to perform any kind of operation like uh, when uh, clicking the button, if you want to do any kind of operations to perform those kind of logics also we need to specify in the component.ts so every component will get these four files and apart from this if you see this is the index.py this is the main file it will render to that complete content so if you see this index.file is having app iphone root so this is the app iphone root is nothing but if you see app component.html and app component.ts so here is the selector this is the root component for our angular project with this selector it will render everything to the browser so in the previous versions of angular we will get it module also app module also will get but now app model will not get so we need to add all the imports inside component only we need to use the imports and here we need to specify whatever the packages you want to work for example if you want to work with http client then also we need to define the dependencies in the import statement and next mine is main.ts here is the file it will start executing your angular application if you see this is the bootstrap application first component it will look for app component so if you come to the app component from here again it will start executing this is the app component.html css these two information again it will render into the dex.html and if you want to add more components you can add and those components we need to render into that app component through index.html and next one if you see style.css so individual component will get one style.css means if you see this is the component.css so individual components will get one css file and also if you want to keep any global properties to reflect entire application there you can use this global style.css file and next one is angular.json so this is having all the properties related to work with production or any other environment related stuff for example if you see here our 
project is first project okay so so here is the output path so whenever you are build this application this this folder will create all our project related files okay we'll see while uh, building this application what kind of uh, files it will create everything we'll see and uh, if you see assets so this is assets where we need to keep and if you see the styles here we need to specify if you want to install the bootstrap plugin into the angular then you need to install and here in the style as well as the script you need to specify the bootstrap properties and if you scroll down here configuration here we related to production okay so and there is one more configuration related to develop okay so if you want to set those properties you can set by default it is giving 500 kv for maximum warnings and maximum errors is 1 mb so sometimes we'll get uh, these warnings while uh, building the application so we need to increase this size of the maximum warnings from this okay so i am keeping 8 mb this one also i am keeping 8 mb so it will won't see any warnings at the time of building the application so default configuration is production okay uh, so here environment folder is not yet created by default so if you want to keep multiple of uh, properties file related to environment specific then again you need to create the environment folder also okay so for this one you can just click on this folder icon and it will ask for the name so here you can specify the environments so from this environments folder you can keep multiple files related to your environment to keep uh, files related to api specification so what we need to do here environments dot ts so by default if you are giving environment ts it will considering as a development one and for the production we need to create one more ts file with prod dot so environment start prod dot ts like this you can create the multiple environment file so here we need to create the properties what are the properties you want to access at the time of working with http client so my file name is environment so export constants environments so this is related to that uh, production or not production okay so if you are production you can just enable this production is true and api here again you can change this api you are like this you can create the multiple environment files to read the data so sometimes what will happen right so sometimes our application will have in the huge static data from the front end so in this case uh, if you want to keep those static content into the ui side then you can create separate ts file there you can keep all the content in the key and value pair and you can able to access that one as well so if you are not interested to keep those uh, static content in the back end okay and uh, we are done with environments now if you come to the angular digestion just now we discussed this uh, angular digestion next one is a package digestion so here you can able to see all the dependencies related configurations if you see angular we are using 18 version here okay so if you see these are all the dependencies angular cli and jasmine is we are using for testing angular 4 okay and if you go to the top here is our script so from here only the scripts will execute so we are using ng start ng serve ng build we are using right so those will be executed from this commands so this ts configuration is not important so this is all about the folder structure from angular application i hope this video is helpful for you please like share and subscribe my channel for more content